Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and Sistonians and welcome! In today's video we're going to be doing things a little differently and talking about a question that's been on my mind for a couple of days now and that is, is Tiny Tina racist? This is you recently came up when Mike Sacco tweeted Anthony Birch, hey I really like Borderlands 2's writing but Tiny Tina's trope of white girl talking like them urban folk has got to go, insinuating that Tiny Tina, Tiny Tina is somehow racist. To which Anthony Birch responds then quite proudly, well it's not going to. Now let's ask ourselves quickly what is racism? Racism in Dictionary.com is, is stated as a belief or doctrine that enhance differences among the various human races determine cultural or individual achievement, usually involving the idea that one's own race is superior and has the right to rule others, or a policy, system of government based upon or fostering such a doctrine, discrimination, hatred or intolerance of another race or other races. Now let's talk about Tiny Tina now. Who's Tiny Tina? Tiny Tina is of course a white girl, she's 13 years old, She's a demolitions expert, apparently the best in Pandora, and she talks a little urban. She says things like badonka donks. She's actually a really funny character. I've got to, I've got to play a voice line or two here. Here we go. Rowan told me you were coming. I still owe him for all that butt crap with General Rancid. So you gotta hijack a train, huh? Child's play. Let me introduce you to my ladies. This here is Mushy Snuggle Bites, and this is Felicia Sexo Pants. These fine-ass women's could stop that train for years, but I'ma need their badonkadonks first, and they got stole by the bandits a few days ago. Go get them! That's right, bitches! My big brother's about to teach you some rules! Now understand Mushy Snuggle Bites is badonkadonk and lips! Now, ask yourself, was any of that racist? Let's ask ourselves even further, was any of that derogative? Did Tiny Tina actually state, hey, them blacks ain't as smart as them crackerjacker white folks or anything like that? No, she didn't. What Tiny Tina has is an accent. An accent that is urban, of course, but to insinuate that urban is only spoken by black people isn't completely wrong. I'm not even going to say Ebonics because this is like gangster talk. Now as far as I'm concerned in popular film, movie, television and news, urban folks don't consist of just black people. They consist of white people, they consist of Latin Americans, they can consist of South Asians. It's an accent, a method of talking that people grew up with while living in a certain area. Of course, unfortunately, this is lower, lower class. If you really want to shake a stick at the situation, you can say that it's potentially classism. There's nothing negative about lower, lower class people here. And in fact, let's take a look at Tiny Tina herself. She's a poor white girl, she's living in a cave, she has no parents. She's living in Pandora, a harsh and terrible planet where violence is around every corner. Unfortunately, she's had to grow up quickly. This poor girl has had to grow up quickly on this strange and foreign planet. And so obviously she's going to do that very quickly and maybe the majority of people around her talk urban. So therefore she learns it herself. Now, is there any racism in the game at all? Of course not. Heck, one of the few black people in the game, Roland, is the leader of a resistance against Handsome Jack. If anything, the game is a metaphor for the global crisis that we're living in today. Now, do people have the right to be offended by Tiny Tina? Of course they do. However, we also have the right to not give a shit about what you think. It's your choice to be offended by anything, not ours. Am I offended by... Sir Flintlock and his posh talking English accent saying arse and uh, bugger holes? No, of course not. The reason why that is simple. I am not a cunt. You choose to take offence. You choose to bring attention to yourself when you say, oh, I am offended by this person's actions or this person's talking. If the language in the game was, of course, derogative, if it did, of course, single out people and enforce stereotypes, like Boris, the guns dealer. Russians are stereotyped to be guns dealers. Is anybody in an uproar about Boris? No, of course not. Is it Boris or Ivan? I actually forget. You know, the gun salesman who sells you guns, of course. No. Has anybody been offended about anything in the game since it was first released on September the 20th? Not a damn soul, not a single person has complained about anything about the game in regards of racism, discrimination, or anything like that, so why on earth is it popping up now? Anthony Birch himself has been asked if he would redo her sections of the game, and he has responded that that's not actually feasible within the technical constraints of the game, that's fantastic, he's not going to change to Tiny Tina, but I'd alter her dialogue in any future BL stuff. Isn't that sort of caving into political correctness now? Your character has been fantastic, nobody has ever criticised it. Her, sorry, and one little comment comes up and suddenly the whole internet's in the rubble. Oh no, she's racist, got to change that. No, don't change her, Anthony Butch. Tiny Tina's fantastic. Make it even worse, I say. If these people think that she's talking like them urban folks, then make her an even worse urban folk, I say. Really rub it in their noses. If they want to have an opinion, if they want to try and criticise you, criticise them back. They're the racist ones, Anthony Birch, not you. They're the ones who see negativity on her while you see nothing but life and comedy and a fantastic character in the game. And that's all the time I have. I've been Systematic and a big thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like the video to see more of the Podonka Donks and subscribe to join Sistonia today and I will see you soon.